East Meadow um, have the highest uh, incidence of opioid uh, deaths and opioid um, events going on. So while there may be arrests for marijuana, the reason why in the inner city, I think one of the reasons why we're hearing about the opioid events going on in these towns is because people are dying as a result of this. So we have, beyond just an enforcement issue, we have a crisis going on with uh, medicine and with opioids and the, uh, you know, the illegal taking of these, what were at one point legal medications. So it's an important point to kind of like uh, broaden it out to that. Um, well, that was excellent. Let me, let me just give you something so that you know something because he, he brought up a great point. In Colorado, it was legalized. I want to use some statistics. These are not my statistics. These are the high intensity drug trafficking agency statistics of the federal government. So here we go, ready? Since legalization, 48% more traffic accidents due to marijuana. 49% more emergency room visits because of marijuana. 33% more hospitalizations. 100% more calls to the Poison Control Center in Colorado. Colorado now ranks number one in the nation because one of the tenets of drug legalization is when you legalize it, people won't use it, right? It won't be a big deal, so who we'll uses it? You don't use it if there's no prohibition. So now, here's the facts. Mar uh, in Colorado, Colorado is number one in every age group from youth to adults in usage of marijuana. It's number one. So that tenant has flown out the window. Um, now, this is just marijuana. Let's talk about opioids. In the Vietnam War, we lost 50,000 men in 10 years. And he brought up a great point. Now, I want to give you something now. We lost in the whole Vietnam War of 10 years, 50,000 men. In one year, in 2016, which is already old now, 2016, we lost 60,000 Americans from opioids only. Not a war. Not a war. Just opioids. So you ask about, very good point. So I wanted to make use of some facts. You see, so that, that, that has to do with, to answer your question, if we look at that with legalization in New York State, with a, this is why you know, so many politicians are like trying to actually get this under control. Because if this is 2016, what happens as time goes on? I know, let me give you the question. Yeah. Dr. Myers? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to speak very long on this issue because I disagree with so much of the premise of all of this. Um, the one thing I would just say about statistics is that um, when you legalize a substance and um, you and, and incidents that maybe you would have reported differently before or not reported at all, suddenly you can report and so now it's possible to uh, call the Poison Control Center because whatever, your child seems to be out of it. And so, so when you legalize it, these, the, the numbers start to fluctuate and we don't really know how to interpret them. It's way too early to understand whether legalizing something like marijuana uh, ultimately is going to have the sort of societal breakdown that's being described. Um, so I, I'll just put that aside. Uh, in terms of the, the, the benefit, um, financial benefits to a state, that too, it's way too early to know um, how that's going to play out because there are unintended consequences that cost money and we haven't seen how that, that financially is going to work itself out. Um, we do know in this country that uh, anytime you make something illegal, prohibition is a great example, you end up creating a kind of a pent up desire for it, and then, you know, I don't think that's a good solution either. I think if we're going to focus on drugs and creating drug free, a drug free concept, we need to be looking at the drugs that are really harmful harmful to people and harmful to public safety, and I wouldn't put marijuana on the top of that list. It's on our mind because it's being legalized, but it certainly is not anywhere near the most important thing. 
uh, opioid addiction is on the rise and continues to destroy communities. Uh, but that didn't start because of marijuana use or any other drug use other than prescription drug use. So the, the, way, these, um, the way that drugs are affecting communities has to be traced back individually, drug by drug, to its origin. So it's, it's just complicated, and, um, and, I, and I don't think we can hash it out in a panel like this. So I would say that. And then the last thing I would leave the, you know, throw in my last little uh, push for this. What I don't like about um, having uh, certain pockets of human behavior that are illegal, 